It's something most of us do every week. We park our cars outside the grocery store and head in without a second thought. But that's no longer the case for a few billions families who return to an unwelcome surprise. Their cars were out of gas. It all started with a quick 10 minute shopping trip. Jessica Morris says she walked into the Albertsons on 24th and Central Friday night and walked out to find her gas tank nearly out of gas. Very upset, really just, yeah, there's not much you can do. You just, you try to live your life and hope somebody doesn't ruin your day. Morris insists the tank had plenty of gas before she walked into the store. And while she has no proof it was siphoned, she's convinced someone drained her tank. It's not like our gas got out and walked away, so. <laughs> Billings police say they occasionally receive reports of siphoned gas, but aren't aware of anything like what Morris has described. Regardless, Morris took to social media to warn others and learned she's not the only gas theft victim. I went to go fill up gas and it sounded like somebody was pouring a water hose in a quarter size hole in my gas tank and just pouring gas on the ground. Andrew Ray says someone also drained the tank on his work truck despite the fact it was parked right outside his home, and it had an anti-siphon fuel cap installed. The thieves instead drilled a hole right through his tank. Park if you have cameras where you can see it, <laughs> that's all I can say. It's just crazy, it's just, you can't really trust anybody these days. According to AAA, a hole in a gas tank can cost as much as $1,000 to fix, or more. A frustrating reality Andrew Ray is now living. It's just, it is what it is. Another day, I guess. <laughs> he and Jessica Morris just hope what happened to them won't happen to you, which is why they're speaking out. I lived in that whole area my whole life, and there wasn't that much crime growing up, and now it's just, it's all hitting the fan. Just, just keep your eyes peeled. In Billings, Kelsey Marison, MTN News.